One of the coolest features in Nerdio is the ability to create your images and then update your session hosts all through automated processes. Now to get started, let's just take one minute and make sure we're all on the same page with images in general. Your first option is to grab an image out of the Azure Marketplace. Microsoft, as well as many other vendors, have all kinds of images that you can deploy. Just build a VM from that Marketplace image and then deploy your apps and customizations and you've got a completed VM. Microsoft will handle updating those images every month as just part of the service. And this is a great option if you don't want to manage your own images, you can just consume them as part of your imaging pipeline to make your VMs just the way you want them. The downside here is this will increase the time to go from zero to a usable VM because there are more deployment steps involved. For those of you who want more of a microwave dinner approach, you can take that same marketplace VM, log in, add your customizations and apps, then sys prep and capture it as a managed image. Now, normally when you do this process, you'll be deleting that VM because once it's sys prepped, there's no way to get back into Windows. Now, imaging like this can take a bit longer because you have to take snapshots at every step in the process in case you need to roll back, and you do have something else that you have to now manage and update. But your deployments are going to be a whole lot faster because almost everything was packaged into that image. And there are even more ways to automate this entire process with the Azure Image Builder, as well as other third-party solutions. Now, Nerdio does things a little bit differently. There is a staging virtual machine where you'll customize windows, install your apps, etc. And unlike the normal Azure imaging process, this VM is not going to be deleted. Under the covers, Nerdio is going to make replicas of that VM disk and create images from that. So you'll still be able to log into this VM next month and make all of your updates and app changes and then create a new image version. Once you're ready to make that new image version, you would then click over here to the power off and set as image button. And that'll create your new image version and deposit into your Azure Compute Gallery. And this new image will become the foundation of your new session hosts. Now notice that I use the word foundation because part of the deployment process in Nerdio, you can also use something called scripted actions. And this will add more customizations and optimizations to your session host once they are deployed. To get started building your image, click over here in the Add from Azure library. This will create that staging VM for you. Now, if you click on the Azure image dropdown, you'll see all of the supported AVD images from the Azure Marketplace. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see any of your Azure managed images and those stored in the image gallery. And you can pick from any one of those to get started. I'll select Windows 10 for a Generation 2 VM. Then you just fill out the other details for your environment. Give it a name, a description, select the virtual network that you have linked to Nerdio, your VM size that you want to use, as well as your resource group. Now the checkbox over there to join the VM to the domain, I'm not gonna do that because this is my staging VM. This way I don't have to unjoin it or have a stale AD computer object just hanging out there. I've also added my local username and password so that I can log into the VM if I need to. Scroll down and we have some options here to save the staging VM into the Azure Compute Gallery as an image, which I'll leave off for now. We also have a scripted action section. And I've covered that in depth in a previous video. And you can use those to run your configurations or even install some apps onto your VMs. So in this case, I'll install Notepad++. But you can layer multiple scripted actions together if you want to. And at the bottom here, we have tags. Now I think everything should always have tags so that you can stay organized, but you can also run automation against the tags to manage your environment. And I've covered that in other videos on the channel. So there's the standard tags that I use in just about all my deployments, but you should use whatever is part of your tagging strategy. And when you're ready, click OK at the bottom. And then at the task list section down here, you can see that we have a new pending build task. But like any good cooking show, I've already got one done, so you can check that out. Now the green icon up there means that staging VM is currently running. And you have a few options to customize it. Now you could click the drop down here and generate an RDP file, and then that'll let you log in so you can install or change anything that you want. Or you can add some customizations from the Nerdio side. 
Just click the same drop down and click on run script. That'll bring you back to the scripted action section and you could do something like install 7-Zip and the RD Analyzer tool. Now, once you're done with making whatever kind of updates you need to in your environment, you wanna click over here on the power off and set as image. This is gonna do some magic under the covers. It'll power off the VM and then create a new image version, leaving this staging VM in its current state. So you can just power it back on next month and make all of your updates, rinse and repeat. Now, during this image capture process, you can also execute more scripted actions, as well as set this on a recurring schedule. Now, I can't overestimate the importance of this. If you've chosen to go down the path of a custom image, it's gonna need to be updated. So you might as well do it on a regular basis, even if that's just monthly after Patch Tuesday, just to roll in those updates. And this is gonna become even more important in just a minute. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom, you also have an option here to set your new image as inactive. Now, why would you wanna do that? Well, this means that your current image is still the one that you're actively deploying to your host pools, and that's gonna include your VM bursting if you're using that feature for extra capacity. This option also gives you time to test your new images in your selected host pools or UAT environments so that you're really sure that everything works exactly as expected before you update everything. You can also choose to back up your current image, otherwise it's going to be overwritten by this process and same rules apply. Now when you're ready, you can click the run now button or you can hit save and let the schedule do its thing. So now that we have a working image in Nerdio, you need to deploy it. Now, if you're deploying a new host pool, the process works pretty much like what you would expect. You build new VMs from your image and then add them as session hosts into your pool. Over here in the dynamic host pool section, you wanna click the drop down button for managing your hosts, go down to host and then select add new. Select any image that you want here and I'll use the one that we created a little bit ago. Then I'll choose to deploy two virtual machines, set my naming prefix, network, VM size, etc., and then scroll down. You can control the batch as well as the failure counts here. And then when you're ready, you can build that. But the real superpower is the ability to re-image existing <laughs> session hosts from your updated images on a recurring schedule. So the staging VM that we built just a few minutes ago was a Windows 10 VM, right? Well, what happens if you're ready to go to Windows 11? Well, you're kind of stuck because in Azure, you can't upgrade a VM's operating system. You can add patches, security features, and things like that, but you can't go from one OS to another. So a Windows 10 VM will always be a Windows 10 VM because part of the upgrade OS experience means you have to get to stuff that we can't see from Azure. But with Nerdio Manager, we sorta of can upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Let me show you how. Back in our dynamic host pools, click that manage dropdown button again, go to hosts and this time select resize re-image. Set your image here for your custom Windows 11 or one from the Azure Marketplace, which is what I'll choose. Then you can change your size of your VMs or your OS disk if you need a little bit more performance. Set the numbers for your batch and failure rate, just like before. And don't forget this checkbox over here. That'll set your remaining hosts in the pool after your initial batch to be in drain mode. And that's gonna prevent new users from logging in while you're doing this upgrade process. But of course, it is best to do this kind of thing during your maintenance windows if you can. Then click over here to activate your schedule. And you can set your reoccurrence pattern based on how often you're doing those image updates, then set your date and time. Now to be really clear, the re-imaging of your session hosts should happen after your image process has already rolled out that new image according to your schedule. That way you have something brand new to roll out. So once you're done with all of that, click save at the bottom, your schedule is gonna go and do its thing, and then everything now in just a few clicks has been automated, so you can roll out updated images into your environment, then from there, create your updated session hosts. That way, your session hosts are always up to date, compliant, and secure. Now, the next thing you should do is automate some ways to reduce cost of your environment, which you can learn about right over here. Like and subscribe, and as always, happy learning.